What's going on YouTube? My name is not Linus, but today I will explain what happens during micro stutter as fast as possible. One of the arguments against SLI or crossfire configurations is an increased risk of micro stutter. Although PC builders are aware of the possibility of micro stutter, many are confused about how micro stutter actually affects the gameplay experience. When watching gameplay videos from gamers on multi-GPU rigs, some viewers are commenting on where they can see the micro stutter happening. In actuality, micro stutter isn't something you would be able to see in a gameplay video on YouTube. One example viewers point to as possibly being micro stutter is when your soldier seems to trip and stumble around the same place, or your screen resets back a few frames several times in a row. This is actually a server side issue and many players refer to this as rubber banding lag. Micro stutter has nothing to do with this. Another anomaly in gameplay that some viewers believe micro stutter affects is where multiple separate game frames are displayed on screen at once. This is actually screen tearing where your monitor cannot display frames as quickly as the game renders them or the gamer's game recording software is recording at a slower frame rate than the game is rendering. Screen tearing is not exacerbated by multi-GPU configurations or micro stutter. NVIDIA's G-Sync technology was created to eliminate screen tearing as a more efficient and latency-free alternative to V-Sync. What actually happens during micro stutter is when there is a high amount of frame time variance in alternate frame rendering situations, which is the technology behind SLI and Crossfire. The time duration that one GPU outputs a frame may be so long that the second GPU's frame never reaches your display because the second frame's duration is so short. The ultimate effect of high frame time variance is a choppy and less smooth gameplay experience even with a high reported frame rate. For example, Fraps or other benchmarking software might show your game computer rendering 60 frames per second, but due to high frame time variance, your monitor only displays 45 frames per second. Nevertheless, do not let the possibility of micro stutter discourage you from adding a second GPU to your build. From the GeForce 500 series onward, GPU architecture and driver work have incorporated SLI optimization to the extent that there is very minimal frame time variance differential compared to using SLI or a single card. AMD graphics cards have struggled with crossfire micro stutter until very recent catalyst drivers have prioritized lowering frame rate variance to the extent that micro stutter has all but been eliminated. PC game developers have also been optimizing their coding to take into account how many more gamers are building multi-GPU rigs. Compared to years past, in 2014, micro stutter is nothing to worry about when considering using a second GPU. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I've answered any questions you may have, but if you do have any questions about micro stutter or PC gaming, leave a comment below my video and I may feature your question in a future video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My name is David and I'll see you next video.